Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro. So for this design, I used Long Hair Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic along with this new pink and gold glitter mix that's available on my website. I will leave a link down below. And I also used Nail Nails Warm Beige for my nail bed area. So I've already applied my nail forms and prepped and primed my natural nails. And now I'm going in with the Nail Nails Warm Beige Acrylic and I'm just going to apply that to my nail bed area and also extend the nail bed just a tiny bit. So this is going to be my spiral nail. So I am just going to form the nail bed area and I'm just gonna leave this for later. And the brush I'm using today is my number eight alpha brush. I will leave a link down below. And as you can see, I use this brush a lot. It is my favorite acrylic brush. It is just perfect. It gives me the perfect control over my beads and it just makes everything turn out really, really nice and neat. Moving on to my ring fingernail, I am once again applying the Nail Nails Warm Beige to my nail bed area. Um, but this time I'm not creating a smile line. Um, this is going to be a glitter ombre nail, so it's not really important for the you know nail bed area to just be perfect. All right, so now I'm applying the pink and gold glitter mix to the nail. Um, I picked up a bead of the Long Hair Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic and then I dipped it into the pink and gold glitter mix and that is how I apply it to my nail. And I am just creating the tip with it and also um, putting the glitter on the nail bed and just giving it a nice gradient fade. And for this set, I wanted to do something a little bit more extreme. So these are the longest nails I've ever sculpted. <laughs> I almost went to the very tip of these extra long nail forms. So yeah, these nails are super long. Um, I decided to do them so long because I was doing a spiral nail and I just wanted everything to kind of match. Um, the spirals can get kind of long. So I wanted the nails to kind of, you know, go with the spiral. Um, so yeah, this is strictly for video purposes. I cannot do anything with this hand and with these long nails. So yeah, these nails um, will be coming off very, very soon. So once I have the glitter in place, I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate this nail with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. All right, so moving on to the middle finger, I am once again creating my nail bed area with the Nail Nails Warm Beige Acrylic. And I'm going for a crisp smile line. So I am extending my nail bed a little bit because since these nails are so long, I just want it to be proportional.
So once I have formed the nail bed area and made sure the smile line was nice and crisp, I'm going in with the pink and gold glitter mix and I'm just making sure to get it right up to that smile line and forming the tip and all of that good stuff. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I have been practicing and practicing on my smile lines and my reverse application method and I've I am finally happy with the way it came out. These smile lines are like bomb. <laughs> I did such a good job on these. I'm so proud of myself. So yeah, I've been practicing on, you know, getting my smile lines perfect. And I just really, really love how these turned out. And so I just repeat the same thing for my index fingernail. So me and the hubby had a wonderful time filming that intro for you guys. Um, it was really, really fun. And I'm so happy that he was able to actually help me out. Um, if you guys don't know, he is actually a videographer. So he knows how to edit and film and just make everything look bomb. <laughs> So if you guys really like that intro and if you would like to see more, um, give me a thumbs up, comment down below to let me know and I will let the hubby know so he can help me out more. All right, so once I got the glitter in place, I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate both of these nails with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to forming my spiral. 
Um, so what I did was take the backing paper from my nail forms and I rolled that up into a tube and then I secured it with a piece of scotch tape. And now I'm going to form my spiral onto this tube. Most people use like a straw or something like that, but I don't have any straws in my house. So I had to make a cylinder piece um, that the acrylic would not stick to. So. So yeah, I'm just going in once again with that Alpha number eight Kalinsky brush and I'm using that to form my spiral. And I am just taking um, small beads of the clear acrylic and the pink and gold glitter mix. And I am just working that all around this small tube. And you just wanna make sure that your spiral is nice and even. Try to keep it as neat and crisp as possible. Um, just to cut down on the fouling. Um, and just to make sure that it looks like a spiral. <laughs> So yeah, I'm constantly patting the sides and making sure that everything is just really, really neat. All right, so once I have the spiral the way that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate it with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And this just encapsulates the glitter and also gives the spiral some thickness so it just won't break when I attach it to my nail. Alright, so once it has set, I am just going to work it off of this tube. And it slides off pretty easily. It also took the scotch tape with it, but that came off easy as well. So now I'm just taking some small drill bits and I'm cleaning up the spiral edges. And then I'm going in with my buffer to buff the surface of the spiral. And after I buffed it, I saw that I wanted to just get the spiral edges more clean. So I went in with a different nail bit to go ahead and clean up those edges and make them more smooth. All right, so after filing and shaping my pinky fingernail bed area, I'm gonna go ahead and use a large bead of clear acrylic and apply my spiral. And I hold it in place until it begins to set. And then I flip it over and kind of pat that big glob of acrylic down to kind of smooth that out. And then I'm just going over the top of the spiral with more acrylic. Um, this spiral piece is pretty heavy, so I'm just applying a lot of clear just to make sure that it stays on.
All right, so now after everything has set, I'm just gonna go in with my shaping and filing. If you're interested in where I got the nail dust collector, I will leave a link to my review and the links to it down below. But yeah, I start off with my hand file, just filing a size of the nails. And then after I have all of my shaping and filing done with the hand file, I finish off with this large comb bit from Todak USA and I work this around the cuticle areas and I also use it to clean up the spiral. So now I'm applying these crystal cubes that I got from gearbest.com. I will leave a link down below, but I'm using a bead of the clear acrylic to adhere these to my nail. and then I'm cleaning up any excess acrylic. And I'm taking a small dollop and applying these iridescent crystals. These crystals are available on my website. I will leave a link down below. All right, so then I'm applying Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat, and I'm gonna use this to apply the smaller crystals. And I went ahead and cured this nail just so the crystals wouldn't shift. So now I'm applying the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat to all of the nails. And this is my favorite part because that glitter just comes to life. It is so shiny, so pretty, and it is pink, which is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> And I apply it to the spiral nail as well. And I just make sure to coat all of the surfaces. And I also use my 3D brush to get it inside the spiral as well. So I go ahead and cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. And I apply my cuticle oil. And this is the finished look just an extreme out the box design for me i've always wanted to try the spiral nail but i never got around to it um but i think this came out perfect for my first attempt at the spiral and i also added some iridescent crystals to the spiral nail as well i think that gives the perfect touch i know this isn't everyone's cup of tea but i love them so I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.